Hi, Al. Uh, here we go with a quick tutorial how to de distort or de clip, as it's known in the industry, uh, an audio file. We've, I've uh, loaded one here from Ipswich. It's a very short clip, and uh, I'll play a little bit of it. Okay, so there's the clip. And what we're going to do with the audio panel open, we're going to add Isotope RX10. That's the thing that's going to declip this. So if we click on follow my mouse, if we click on this disclosure triangle here, and in the first slot, we are going to go to VST3. That's going to be there when you install Isotope RX10. And we're going to go to restoration, because we're restoring the audio, if you like. Isotope and RX10 declip. And now that's in place for editing. We just double click on the name at the top. It opens the editing window and we're going to choose a preset. In this case, the best one is probably this one. High quality clipping at minus one decibels. Just click on it. And so we've chosen it. And to close that window, which gets in the way, just close this uh, filing cabinet icon here. Can you see that where my mouse is? And it disappears. Now when we play the clip, what we're going to do is we're going to pull down this threshold here. If you look at it, it, it pulls down both sides. And you're going to see this clips intervals repaired box at the bottom. And that's going to start counting up the uh, instances of distortion or clipping that it finds. So what you do is you play the clip. <laughs> And you pull down the threshold. And for this one, it's quite distorted. So about there, it's probably okay. So minus 15 dB. Uh, and you can see at the moment, it's saying 1922 intervals repaired. And if I keep playing it, it's going to keep climbing. So it's constantly monitoring the clipping that it's finding and doing its best to repair that. So that's how you use Isotope RX10. And all you've got to do when, once that's done is leave that in place and render the audio out with it in place. And that's it. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.